So that's the basic idea. And I want to briefly show, show you how to set up the fuzzer and how to find bugs in, uh, in a fairly complex web application. Okay, and with that, I will jump over to, uh, to VS Code. Here I have checked out uh, the Corona One app server. So that's the backend for the uh, COVID tracing app that you might have on your phone if you're from Germany. Uh, let's go to the browser. So this is the project that, that I mentioned. I simply checked this out. And because I know that the current version is quite well tested, I checked out an older version from last October, which I know has uh, has a flaw in there. And OK, let's let's get an overview of this architecture by going here through the docs. So this would generally be the first step in assessing how, how a fuzzer could work in this environment, how, uh, like what services are a good candidate for fuzzing. Uh, so I'm going to look here at the architecture. And so this is the project that, that I've checked out locally. So there is uh, like a, submiss a submission service and then some other stuff. And here I see those like those three services here, they're, they're run by cron jobs. So uh, that's not ideal because I want the fuzzer to generate an input and then something should happen in that service. So like my first instinct would be to like ignore those, uh, those uh, services, but focus on the submission service. And then the submission service, it will send requests to the verification server. So this is basically the interaction that happens if you like if you test positive, you get your lab results back, you click on the button to notify others, and you will send this uh, ton and uh, whatever test results you have. And this will then be verified by the verification service. So this is the, the flow that, uh, that I would like to test for, for now for a quick setup. Uh, so that means two services that I would be instrumenting here, the submission service and verification service. 